Very welcome, Matthew Lee Ambleton, to this Thank interview. You. We are sitting here now in the in the middle of the nowhere, and besides me here, I got yeah. also Tove Aradala. Yeah, and we are in in my hoods. Yes, my old hoods. You are making new music now. Oh, we are. Yes, we did an interview before with this uh, Nordic patterns. Yeah, mm. and uh, now you are doing uh, uh, you call it an EP. Yep, three songs. Yeah, and. Uh, is it the same songs like uh, before? I mean the the style. Yes, um, it's it's based on a, a song that uh, Tova has written, and uh, some of the words were sampled in one of the songs on the Nordic Patterns album. But this time, this the whole song has been given a real working over, and it's been given the sort of snake style sound. So it's also it's it's kind of folk, but it's also very electronic and atmospheric at the same time. You, you are thinking of the one, uh, not the original, but uh, the one you are you are you have been doing in in a completely different way. It's it's magic. Yeah, the song is called "I Dance the Circle a Wheel of Year." It's Snake Style Remix. Towards the fire where I can jump over the flames 
really good. Can you tell uh, the listeners, Matthew, a little bit about yourself? Okay, um, well I've been making music for over 20 years, um, very much influenced by electronic music of the 70s and 80s, which I grew up with, and um, also uh, percussion, 
a strong part of uh, what interests me about music, the rhythms and the grooves and atmospheric sounds. And I like the way that music can put you in a different place uh, mentally to, to think about things. That's what I like about music. A lot of people say that my music is quite sort of contemplative and bringing that atmosphere together with Torva to create this atmospheric kind of invocation of the, the, the Norse kind of culture and traditions has been a really interesting direction for both of us. Yeah, really nice. I agree. I have see you doing some uh, YouTube uh, videos with your playing when, when you're uh, doing like layers on it. Ah, yes, yes. Sometimes I experiment with that. Um, I have uh, quite a few different instruments that I like to try and play, but also singing as well. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I like to experiment to see what I can uh, to try and reproduce using technology and like, split screen videos on my YouTube channel. Yeah, that's right. I, I enjoy that too. Yeah, really nice. And and you too, you 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 are the singer, and you uh, you you make the music or what what you call it uh, I, lyrics I'm, and the music. Yes, I'm I'm writing the texts and and the music, but uh, we are going to change that a bit because uh, when I'm writing the text uh, from now on, I want Matthew to do a lot of the music. Yeah. So we are going to do a collaboration collaboration there with with. Um, even more bound, bounding to each other, right, Matthew? Absolutely. Yeah. I can sing some more as well. It'd be fun to experiment with that, my voice and singing. What about the songs now then? Is it uh, the text? What, what, what is it about? It's about a short description of my life when I'm going as a high priestess or a shamanka through life from you know from one end of the year to another end of the year and what I'm doing well, within all the year, uh, magic, magic and old ways of magic and, and how to treat um, Mother Nature and yeah. Yes, so um, I mean you you did the, the album before Nordic Patterns, mm. and now the EP and then comes the, the album. Is it far away or is it uh, uh, connecting with, with this EP as well? It had been a lot shorter time to do it if we could meet in real life, I think, because now we sit in, in each capital and, and we have a close border between us. Mm. I have some text uh, already I'm going to, to, to send to Matthew. He has, I think you have one or two. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So I, um, I've been picking up some rhythms and that uh, I have them. to listen to, yeah. to sort of to sing over, see what melodies come out. Yeah, it's kind of back and forth with lots of ideas yeah. over the internet. So yeah. thrilling. Yeah. It's really thrilling. That is a new way to make music. I mean, everyone does it. And, and uh, I mean, uh, it saves lots of traveling money. When we worked together in Gotland and, and, and you know, created the music and, and did all these field recordings, it was magic because we were together doing it. Mm. Yes. Yeah, that was that was very enjoyable. Also yeah. getting to see all the different sites on Gotland, yeah. all the lovely uh, yeah. stone ships, and to be in that the atmosphere and to sort of play that into the recordings, that was very magical. Yeah. Mm. So I try mm. to keep that in mind when I'm sat in the studio, trying to remember what it felt like and to make sure that finds its way into the music. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Th thank you very much, Dan. And and uh, Thank you. Uh, wish you good luck with the with the new EP, and we're looking also forward to the to the next coming album in yeah. the in the autumn, I guess. Yeah, as soon as we can so, yes. um, fix everything together, I think we will come and, and mm. uh, shock the world. Okay, take care, uh, Matthew and and, and Tobe. Thank Lovely you. Lovely to speak to you. Thank you very much. Take care. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.